All right, guys, welcome back to Average Takes. Week one of NFL season is here. Pickums is back. We're doing a little different now, you know? Right now, today, we don't got Roman with us, which I think is a little funny. Um, but it's all right. Make sure my mic's on. <laughs> if you guys could tell, we're in the studio for the first time all year. That's kind of crazy. Um, this is just a little base model, a little 30 second action in the studio. But Damn, I look good. if you are noticing, we got someone else who looks real good in here. Oh, this yeah. year, we got Pickums. We're bringing on a guest each week. The guest who has the best week overall is going to get a jersey from us, a pick of their jo of choice. Like, I think that's so cool. Shenny, please introduce our next guest. Oh, yeah. Guest one of season two of our Average Takes Pickums is none only than Tyler Moon. And if you didn't, if you didn't believe it or not, Tyler actually joined us. He is now our social media guy. So all of our posts basically are gone through Tyler. And he's killing it. We're hype about it. And Cass. Tyler's hype about it. Um, Tyler, any words? What do you got to say? Happy to be a part of the team. Uh, love what you guys have done the play, done with the place. A little, little first pod jitters. Sorry. But uh, I'm ready to get going. Let's go. All right. Well, NFL season is back, like we were saying. And the first um, game of this season, of this week, is hard knocks basically cowboys huh. we've watched this cowboys team on hard knocks to start the year and you know which is kind of weird because didn't they lose all the games and then get covid and then yep yeah they're, they're uh, not a good start to the season you know i mean dak was dealing with a injury all um sees are all like preseason i guess um not good news and yeah that's not good news but Cowboys are opening up the season at the defending champs, Tampa Bay Bucks, yeah. Thursday night football. This is a great game to get this year started. Oh, yeah, I'm hyped about it. This is probably one of the best games that the season has started on in a long time. And, you know, what better way than to get your season started off with Buccaneers Thursday night football? Like, they're literally the reigning champs. And this is, this is going to be a big game for both teams because if you really think Dak is back after a year and a half of not playing – I don't know what to tell you. He's It's not going to be as smooth sailing as Cowboy fans think it's going to be. And uh, I think the Bucks are just going to prove it to you. We're the best team in the league. Here you go. This is what we got. You know, and the Bucks did a real nice job this offseason um, keeping everyone. So I think that's um, a big factor is they didn't lose a big name. They retained everyone. Cowboys got a little bit better. Obviously, Dak coming back is going to be good. Who knows how healthy Dak is, but – um, Tampa Bay is favorited in this game, home game. They're minus eight. So I think um, they're really giving the Bucks a big, big margin big, right yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. And honestly, I see this. Um, let's get in the picks. So I'll start it off. I already took the Buccaneers. I'm going to take the Bucks. And then the minus eight spread wise is a little, it's a little big, but I do see them winning by at least 10 points. Like, I don't see. The Cowboys getting to click right now. And then uh, the total for the game is 52. That's super high to me. I don't see them even scoring 52 points. Um, I think it's going to be a low-scoring defensive battle with the Bucks just literally shutting down Dak. So what do you guys got? Um, me and Shinny <laughs> talked about it before the pod. Um, he had me convinced um, to take the under. I was going over. I was just I have the I have the jitters. I have first game jitters. I'm so hyped. I just wanted to smash that over. But uh Shenny kind of talked some sense into me. Uh not to make such a freaking moronic decision. So I think I might smash the under. I am taking Tampa Bay though, uh by the points. Uh that I think they're gonna win by ten to fourteen. Um that's just I just think their defense is gonna hold them off. Uh Dak is gonna be a little slow to start. Um, but I think he will, he will come back to his, uh, first four week campaign that he was, um, doing last year. I just don't think it'll be week one. Uh, Cowboys are looking nice though. I do like them this year. I'm not, I'm not a big cowboy guy at all, but that offense is looking nice. I feel like they can definitely put it together and have a winning season, but I don't think it starts week one. 
Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. I'm going to carry on your guys' bandwagon right here. Bucks. Um, but I'm going to bang the over. I'm going to take that over. I like um, – I want to so bad. I, I'm going to do it. It's the first week of football. Defenses aren't always there to start off the first week. And, you know, we saw what Dak did those first four weeks. They were all huge scoring, deep into the game, almost overtime. Like, I can remember the Seahawks game vividly. Like, it was just a lot of points. So, I'm going to go – I'm going to bang the over, but I'm sticking with you guys, Bucks and Bucks minus eight, obviously. That's a bad take. <laughs> 52 <laughs> points is a lot. A lot. They have to score. Think about it like – I like it, though. 20, 28 to 24 is exactly 52, and I, that is seven combined touchdowns. Like, I don't see – There's a lot of playmakers in this game to start off, and the Cowboys defense ain't very good. I think both these teams want to play strong, offensively sounded football to start off. Offense wins these games in the beginning – uh, I, I don't know if that defense is going to show up. Let's move on. We've been talking a lot about that first game Thursday night. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. What do we got next? I hope it's the one I'm looking at right here. All right. Let's talk about it then, Shinny. Say it. Pittsburgh Steelers versus <laughs> the Buffalo Bills. And to give this team a 6.5 point advantage, a.k.a. the Pittsburgh Steelers, it's. I think that's – Way too much points for them. I can even see them winning this game, you know. But, you know, on the other side, you got Josh Allen, who is an MVP contender. He just had a career year. Stephon Diggs. Josh Allen literally is going to roll up to the stadium in a brand new truck. He just got paid. And it's a kind of a, a prove-it year for him, you know. Everyone kind of thinks last year was a little fluke. Um, I don't I don't think it's a fluke at all. Uh, I've been high on Josh Allen for a minute, but... uh. We'll see how this this Steelers defense is nothing to joke around about or mess with, and we're gonna come ready to destroy. <laughs> All right, let's hear your. You want to open up with the pick or no? Of course, I'll open up with the pick. Let's hear it. This is might be uh, probably the only pick that we don't mutually agree on. Um, I'm gonna go Steelers plus six point five, and I'm gonna bang the under because that's that's what we do here. We don't give up points. Don't forget about this team. Started off 11-0 and to begin last year. Okay, but that defense looks more like the second half of the season to me. No chance. Why not? Because TJ Watt is now the biggest paid player in the whole league. When? So, not yet. Yeah, I got leaks. Not yet. No leaks. All right, all I got right, sources right. Well, in the anyway, building. I doubt it. Um, Shinny, I'm going total opposite of you. I think Bills win this game, but it's going to be much closer than the minus six and a half. So if you are a betting man, bet the Steelers to cover that. But I'm going to still go Bills for the W, Steelers cover. And I didn't even check what is the 48 and a half. 48 and a half. Yeah, total is 48 and a half. Mm. I like the under. I'll bring the over. Josh Allen, go, uh, go Bills. Josh Allen never seen Mika like this. He's my MVP pick, so he's going to have to start this season Josh, hot. Josh Allen's never seen a rich TJ Watt. Ty, let's hear it. I like I like the Bills, dude. The man who looks great in shorts, Josh Allen. Man's <laughs> a stud. I can't get enough of him. I've been a big Josh Allen guy, huge fan. Uh, guy just gets it done. He's a freaking gunslinger. What can I say? Um, I'm going Bills, smashing Bills. Um, I have him by four, though. Uh, so I got Bills by four, and I'm smashing that under. Pittsburgh doesn't get it started week one. Um, they're going to look a little rusty. Uh, I do like the offense. Uh, the defense, obviously, you know, lights out. But uh, I, I'm not as low on Ben as a lot of other people are. I feel like he will return, not to obviously peak Ben form, but I feel like we will get some big showings from Ben this year. Um, just like week I one. said previously, not week one. Yeah, not week one. Going back to that Ben point you just mentioned up, he uh, is <laughs> he's vegan now. I've tr- tried to let you guys know, vegan quarterback cap. win Super Bowls. Cap. And since he just turned vegan, I cap. this year is going to be crazy. There's no chance he's not eating burger. Nope, he's done. Ben oh. is definitely oh. on the cheeseburgers. <laughs> no, he's on the cheeseburgers. He's on the impossible burgers. He's addicted the impossible to burgers. cheeseburgers. No shot. Big cheeseburger oh, guy. No way he's putting the wings down. No he's shot. Burgers he's over here. He's no letting Najee eat. He's letting Najee eat this year. 
Oh, okay. Okay. I like yep. that. I like that. All right. Let's. I don't know. If it, ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. No, but going back, the last game the Steelers played the Bills was 26 to 15 in the Bills' favor. I kind of see something around that score again, in which um, yeah. I hope it's not. I hope it's in like my favor, but you never know. You never know with this Steelers team. I really have no idea what team's going to come out. They looked good, but we'll see Sunday. Time will tell, like they say. Yeah, we'll definitely see Sunday. That's an early game for you. That's probably the game to watch if you're up at 10 a.m. on a I'll Sunday. I'll be up way before 10 a.m. getting my mind right. <laughs> Or you can watch them all. Red zone. Red zone, baby. Red zone, baby. No free Twelve shot. hours no of free, shot up. free football. Are you? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm so ready. No free shout outs. I'm so hyped. I watched college football. Or yeah, college football last week, and it just got me so hyped. So, literally, first thing I did, I woke up, grabbed the remote, turned the TV on. First hey, thing I did about Saturday uh, morning. Football. Shout out UC Davis and the uh, average take athlete Antonio Oliveri getting that big win over Tulsa. Huge shout out. Huge. What was uh that spread? Oh, you don't want to know that spread. <laughs> Tulsa was favored by twenty four and a half points, and UC. Oh, I don't doubt it one bit. Nineteen to seventeen. <laughs> they didn't even score twenty four points. That's terrible. Whoever made those odds is idiot box. All right. Next game. I want to talk Eagles Falcons. This is a hard one for me. I sat and looked at this one for about an hour. This is one. So- no, this was easy for me. This is super easy for me. Easy? Yes, absolutely. How can you trust the team that loves to blow leads <laughs> in the Atlanta Falcons? How? I'm here for it, dude. I'm here for Matty Ice. Oh, I love it. Oh, Matty Ice fan in the house? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, I'm God. here for it. Nope. Jalen Hurts. Devonta Smith, that's all you need in this game. This game's way over. I honestly think this is m- the year Matty Ice is going down. This is his worst career year. He doesn't have his easy target Julio no more. I know they just got Kyle Pitts, but, man, tight ends take a while to progress in the NFL. I mean, I just don't see a rookie jumping out and helping them as much as Julio would. So I'm going to go Eagles here. Uh I'm not as confident as I feel like I should be, but I mean, it's in Atlanta. Obviously Atlanta has a three point um, spread. I'm just going to go Eagles. I like Jalen. I, it's safe. That's safe. I like the coach um, that they just hired Nick. Sirianni. Yeah. I mean, he, I liked him when he was in uh, with the chargers, but I don't know how it's going to be. Those are two n- newer style teams. You know, both have new head coaches um, I'm gonna go Eagles. Eagles defense low key nice with it too. Like they're hella underrated, but they're low key nice with it, and they make plays when they need to. Um, I, I mean, looking at this Falcons offense is not, it's not have some like terrible names on it. You know, you got if if you're gonna believe in Matty Ice, you gotta believe in Calvin Ridley. You gotta believe in Kyle Pitts. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And then they're the, even their number two, Russell Gage, or who's the other guy? I forgot his name. Or whatever. I don't know. Know. How do you feel about Mike? I'm not, he, I'm, I'm not huge Aiden. on their like skill positions. I love I'm Aiden. I'm loving Cal Rid- I mean Calvin Ridley, but I mean I just don't trust the Eagles. I just really don't at the end of the day. I'm I'm so iffy on Jalen Hurts. I really am. I'm I don't know what it is. There's like no real reason. I just I'm it's, I'm not seeing it. I think it just yet, at be, least yeah. yet. The Alabama curse. I think that's this might be what it is. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've, no. I've heard a lot of people are are either into him or not. There's not really many people who are like 50-50 on him. But, I mean, hey, he they put him in, and he won football games, and I think that that team got better this offseason. So I'm just going to go Eagles just for the hell of it. You know, week one is, is very hard to pick because are. the league is so much different than it was last year. There's not as much COVID, and then at the same time, some teams are all over with COVID. So, hey, man. I'm going Eagles. What are you guys feeling? I'm going to agree with you. Plus three Philadelphia Eagles in Atlanta. And then the total is 48, which I think I'm going to have to go under. I'm, I'm going gonna under. Keep my under streak. No, no points scored in this game. It's going to be three zero ball game. Falcons for sure. Under. I agree. Um, 
I want to start smashing these overs, but these games aren't giving me confidence, especially since it's week one. Fuck. Yeah, I think no. I'm doing. Yeah, I, I got to go under, but I'm taking Falcons for sure. I like it. I like it. They say life's too short to bet the under. I but know. That's all we're doing. I want to bet the over so we're bad. I might over. go back and we bet, bet the over. For we want to bet winners here. Not about how short life is. We're just going to bet winners. And we're team winners. Um, next game. How what are we feeling? Next game, the New York Jets versus the Carolina Panthers. I don't know what I'm feeling here. I mean, you picked another hard one back to back to like decide. Well, I I've flip flopped through these two teams so many goddamn times within the past two weeks. Because I I can't trust Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold has proven nothing to me. CMC, I can trust, but he doesn't touch the ball every single play like Sam Darnold touches the ball every single play. And then on the Jets' side, Zach Wilson, he went to BYU. Like, BYU is playing these scrub D1 teams. And now you're expecting them to come out here, and now he's playing real NFL players, like, talent-wise. Like, I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of Zach Wilson, but... The Jets overall got better, though. Like... They Almost did. every yes, position like, upgraded, but they're still unlike proven. You know, unproven. You that's know. Sam Darnold was in his position as same four years ago. You know, everyone was going in. Oh, is Sam Darnold going to be good? Sam Darnold went to USC. You know, like Pac-12 has some good good players out there, but like, golly. Yeah, but the, who is that freaking shithead at the helm coaching him? Freaking Adam Gase. That guy's out yeah. of there now. Yeah, no, and I did overlook him, but whatever. Adam Gase was terrible every year of. Every team. I'm, I'm like. going to go for um, – this is going to benefit me personally. Carolina Panthers minus five. I hope Christian McCaffrey has 30 catches, 200 yards, and two touchdowns. That's just where this game's going to go. Sam Darnold is a dump-off king, so I expect Christian McCaffrey to have at least 10 catches every single game. Just dump-offs. Panthers locked in minus five. Yeah, um, I had the same thing. On my card right now, I got Panthers minus five, um, but I I actually don't think that they're gonna hit the minus five. So I got Panthers winning. Jets will actually plus five. I think they'll hit that. I think this is gonna be a field goal type game that separates and definitely the under. Cause goddamn, I'm not watching that game. I want to take the Jets so bad just. Just fucking because, dude, I'm loving all these rookie quarterbacks this preseason. Like, I love them all. Like, they have been so fun to watch. They have probably all collectively thrown, like, 30 passes all together. So, like, they haven't really shown shit, but I don't care. Like, these rookie quarterbacks are firing me up. Like, I wasn't even a big Zach Wilson guy coming out, and now I'm just, like, I'm all in on these rookie quarterbacks. They will obviously – they won't all pan out. There'll be like one or two in this in this first round of quarterbacks that'll pan out. But I want to smash the Jets. Mm. Oh, dude, I want to do it. I don't think I can do if it. You want, if you want this jersey at the end of the year, <laughs> you smash the Jets. You need to take gambles. I think I want to do it on, just for fucks. I like. I have like almost no faith, but I I'm getting this gut feeling. I think I'm doing it. I think I'm smashing the Jets. Wow. I'm smashing the Jets button. I had that gut feeling because yeah. I do not think so. <laughs> I was letting you know I bet them uh, 12 straight weeks last week, and they lost every single week. So Last I'm gonna, year. 12 straight yeah. weeks. Yeah, last year. So I'm going to continue that trend. Anti-Jets. Yeah. And for the next one, I, I, had, another, I had another team that was uh, I was very big anti. didn't pick them all pick them season. And that is the Los Angeles Chargers versus the Washington football team. How do you guys feel about this? You guys are uh, pretty avid Charger supporters, so uh, let me hear your Charger takes, and then give me a little Redskin. Oh, I mean Red football team takes. Red Hogs? Red Hogs. Yeah, Red Hogs. Red Red Hogs. Not the league. That's their new name. They're about to get canceled. (laughs) They're so canceled. Dude, knock it off. <laughs> we can fire you. <laughs> okay, in this shit right now. <laughs> no, um, Chargers, yeah, going into it. Herbert is a freaking stud. We watched it last year, rookie of the year. 
Um, yes. and, and I think he's going to do it again. But news just break, breaking right now. Eckler, hamstring injury. Don't know about week one. Out for 10 weeks. <laughs> Chill. All right. Hey, your trainer always fucks something up. This is Chill. who it is this year. All right. Chill. But, Team uh, trainer was MVP last season. I don't want to hear it. True that. True that. Herbie, we wouldn't be in the same box we are right now. Um, but I am – I'm feeling Chargers this this week. Um, I think they're a better, a more complete team. I wouldn't say better, but I'll say more complete right out the gate. Uh, right out the gate, I don't trust Fitzmagic anymore. You know, I don't think this is a team that also trusts Fitzmagic. I mean, he barely won starter. Like they announced it late. I am just gonna ride the Chargers. Fitzmagic has those crazy games, but I think he's just going to start the season slow. Chargers, new coach. I really like um, Brandon Staley. He's a defensive-minded guy, played quarterback, knows football. Um, I th- I'm i just going to go Chargers here. Um, what's the over? They're, they're, they're minus one right now. They're, yeah. They're four, uh, and total's 44 yeah. and a half. Total's 44. Oh, my gosh. Mm. That is so low, but their defenses are. Washington has a great is defense, but uh, Washington got a stellar defense. Yes, great defense. Top five. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hit Chargers. Chargers minus one. I honestly think it's gonna be a field goal game. So are you betting and, with your heart? Yeah, I'm going Chargers oh minus one, and I mean it, it's a flip flop. It's gonna be a field goal. I know how this stuff works. And then I'm going to bang the over, actually, because... Uh, not the field goal. You guys are cursed by the field goal. Just for goal. fun. Don't let it come down to a field goal. Hey, we're going to have to... It always happens. Your weak spots show week one. Like, it always happens. So I'm going to go this game hits to a field goal or ends on a field goal. You know what? I was talking to Tyler earlier, and uh, I said to him I was going to take the team that should not be named, but... I think you guys both are going to take them, and I need to find a way to flop this. So I'm going football team. Chase Young. Shenny was also cursed by the football team last year. Let me, let me just Justin remind Herbert. everyone, the one team that screwed Shenny the most during pickums was the Washington football team. Every week he bet on them. They would lose. Every week he didn't bet on them. They would win. And so let's. I'm just going to bring this back to the air. Shenny bets on them. They lose. Shinny's cursed until they find a name. That's a Dan Snyder effect right there. Yes, sir. Hey, it's, it's very possible. That's great reasoning. Um, uh, the stats will definitely back that up. Um, so Last year's pickups backs that up. Evidence on tape. Yeah, and <laughs> take what you want from this, but I'm not betting on that team that shall not be named. All right. Well, let's hear it for Ty. And the total... We're hitting the over. Yeah, we're going I'm over. over. Oh, I'm, I'm smashing the over. over. I'm smashing the over this game. This point, uh, this point total is low, but absolutely, I'm taking the Chargers. Jay Herbo's going to light it up. I don't think. I don't think it's as close as a game as you guys think it may be. I don't think it ends in a field. I think we can. I think we win by seven. Honestly, nice. Uh, it's still a close game, but I don't think. I don't think it's within a field goal. Um, I do like the football team. I'm a, I'm a big Fitzmagic guy. I am. I, I like Fitzmagic. I like this team. I feel like this team is, I wouldn't call it a complete team, but it's, it's close. It's almost there. They got running backs. They got receivers. They got a defense. Um, their O-line isn't bad. And Fitzmagic, he's, he's you know, he's we, all know this, we all know Ryan Fitzpatrick. Like, he's a stop he is. This might be his best weapon-wise team he has he's ever been on. Mm, I think Jets, so. They almost made the playoffs. Uh, was stacked. That was like twenty years ago. I think. I think this is his most complete team to date. I really do. I feel like they could. The make a run were pretty for the good division. last year too. Like they overall were. wise, I, it was but, just no. Because, yeah, they were bad. Just, no, he had random the, games where he would not do anything. Yeah, the, the personnel was and really confusing. Five hundred yards, five touchdowns, one game, and then two interceptions. Well, and that's that's kind yards. of what I'm, I mean. I hope that's, that one of that's his. That's what he is, though. 
That's one of his 500 yard games is week one. Oh, you're hoping that's week one, <laughs> really? That's what one. you're hoping. Yeah, no, I'm. I mean, I'm not hey, going to. He's go. a veteran. He he's been through 17, 18 week ones before. This just might be his cherry on top. I'm going to retire after the years is done because I just threw 500 yards and my arm hurts. I don't know. This I can tell you one thing though. This is not a revenge game. Out of all the teams, this is not one of them that he's been on. Yeah. That, so that, that, I'm taking the for Chargers sure. for sure. Jay Herbo, I'm liking the team. We're going. Good lessons. Oh, that's oh, lit. Okay. <laughs> um, lost my notes. Um, Jay right. Herbo, so you guys are both Chargers, and I'm on the Red Hogs. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Way I love it. Roman's probably going to go. Ah, he might be Red Hog guy right here. And we we'll, we'll find, we'll find out. out next yeah. week. When you guys watch it, you'll see Roman's picks on the on the screen. Okay, All next right. game. Bob, you want to let it, let us into this next game? Next game I want to talk about is Cardinals Titans. Yeah, you guys want to talk about that because that's a beaut of a game. Ten a.m. There's a lot of good ten a.m. games this week. Get up early, folks. Oh, there's gonna be get up early football games going. Can you on. smell it in the air? Oh, I feel it. I'm hungry. I'm, I am hungry. I can't wait. Holy shit. Football's back, baby. Football is back. <sighs> Titans, Cardinals. They got Tennessee minus three. Is that what I'm seeing? Yep. Uh, Tennessee's yeah, the home they team, go. so they Basically, give them that minus three. Yeah, they, yeah. So, how are we feeling? I mean, this Cardinals team got better but older. I can tell you that. But proven. They're the guys they got were proven dudes, proven all pro guys. In last podcast I said when's the last time JJ Watts played a full season and he did last year. Yeah, so last year. I feel like I disrespected him, him a little bit. I remember him and Deshaun uh, walked off the field. He's like, This is my last game with you, buddy, or something like that. Uh he said he didn't do enough. Yeah, same thing. But um, you know, new energy found on a new team. I like this Cardinals team. I really do. But there's something about this Titans team that I like more. I don't know if it's the stars or... I honestly think it's the underrated quarterback play. And then Tannehill just out outshines or, or outproves himself every every, every week. Every time. Like you're going oh, in... Tannehill's like, a stunt. Tannehill's not elite. Tannehill's not elite. And all of a sudden... All of a sudden... Damn, uh, Tannehill is Tannehill might Tannehill be elite? elite. Is he elite? Is, is uh, this the Joe Flacco question? Are we Are we yeah. asking? I, I think it is. Is like is Ryan Tannehill elite? Because ever since he's got on this Titans team, he's been very good, very good. It, it, yeah, and it definitely could be. I mean, the Titans don't have scrubs around him. You know, he's got Derrick Henry, AJ Brown. Now he gets Julio Jones, who's a freak. I mean, his tight end slot is Julio. a little shaky, but uh, that's what I wanted to center this around. Julio Jones. And this offense. Julio. You got Julio Jones, and then you got Derrick Henry. Those are two of the biggest names in football on the offensive side. Like, yeah. just because and Julio don't forget the down boy. Here, don't forget the boy. AJ? Taylor Luan. Oh, Taylor. Yeah, he's back this year. Right. Is he starting week one? Yes, sir. Yep. All I healed? So. All healed? Love that, love that. That makes them even better. That O line, he's very good. Yeah, he's, he's very good. That was a big reason why I started voting against them last year. Is after they lost him. He's a he's a lockdown left tackle. He's the quarterback's blind spot. You know, Tanny Hill feels way more comfortable when he's there than backup or some rookie that they bring in. You know. Yeah, but on the other side, Did you guys see that? Hold on. Did you guys see that video? Of Derrick Henry going through practice and those guys lined up as stiff arm dummies. <laughs> they literally had grown me? men on their all fours so getting stiff armed by top two back in this league who destroys people with a stiff arm. Who, he doesn't know how to stiff arm. That looked like walkthroughs for him. Like, what yeah, are those like, guys what doing? What are we doing, bro? That's going to tweak someone's neck for no reason. He stiff arms people harder than that. There's no point to run that drill. There's literally There's no point. zero point. Those people, those guys have families. Those guys have kids who are going to see those videos and all have the same respect. 
when yeah. when oh, they come home Daddy, from work. What do you, what do you work for the Titans. What do you do? He's like, oh, I'm Derrick Henry, stiff arm guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so brutal. All right, let's get into this. These let's get in the Cardinals a little bit because Kyler Murray was my pick for MVP, and I think this is going to be his first week where he just goes, "Hey, what's up, guys? I'm MVP this year," and it starts week yep. one against a yep. great Titans team. So. I, That's I'm, what you're feeling. I'm Michael Arizona Cardinals, but I'm walking it in. The plus three is very is very. Uh, open my eyes. I, my eyes are again googly over here. <laughs> the fifty two is a lot of points though. Fifty two is hey, too much. But we said it earlier in the pod. Life's too short to bet the under. We're hitting the over here. I expect a thirty five thirty game. Thirty five thirty five game. They can even end the tie. I don't care. But I'm going Arizona Cardinals. Lock it in. in. All right, lock it in. Tyler, let's hear you. Yep, I'm locking it in. Arizona Cardinals, smashing the over. Um, I got Cardinals. I got Cardinals by 10. Ooh. I think so. Ooh. I like it. I like the Cardinals. Um, I like Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is just stud. He's just a little man out there just causing mayhem. Uh, I do like the Titans a lot. Uh, I like Ryan Tannehill. Uh, I'm not as big. I mean, I don't know if Julio can stay healthy, like he and he can still show that he's a freak. But I just feel like the past couple of seasons we've just been seeing him like wither down. I don't know. I'm not like as big on Julio anymore. I agree he's with still, that. I mean, he's he's still a stud. But he's definitely – I don't think he's the wide receiver one on this team by any means. I think that's A.J. Brown's spot. I think Julio's going to have take. a – That's an average take. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good take. I, I think Julio's going to have a good year. I think it, it's a resurgence. It's a, yeah, that's... a new flame in the fire. And, you know, Julio still has these talents. And a lot of those injuries that you get that are nagging over there, he's playing through. This is a playoff team. Titans are a oh, yeah, absolutely. playoff team through and through. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go Titans here. I'm saying Titans take this game. I'm gonna go Titans, them covering the three and the over. I think this is gonna be one of those Derrick Henry shows late in the fourth quarter. Henry kicks it on. You know, I'm saying that defenses aren't gonna be here early in the year. I'm going heavy offense to start the year, and I'm going Titans led by Derrick Henry in Julio's newfound resurgence. I, I I like that. You know, like if if I were gonna take the Titans, that would be my explanation. Um, I having a dominant running back as Derrick Henry, like when it comes fourth quarter, two minutes left in the game, and you're one possession away, like the best running back, the best running team will always prosper just because they're not as tired. You know, wide receivers they're just blocking, they're not running routes. Um, but um, we'll see. Titans play action game is gonna be absolutely absolutely dirty. insane and. Going back Dirty. to the the Julio kind of uh, dwindling of his performance the last few years, that Costa could do not playing for a contender. You know, like oh my ankle does it really hurt or does it not hurt? You know, like do I really want to play today? I'm getting paid fifteen million dollars to just shit out. So that's exactly what I feel. Let's just let's just shit out this game. I'm not gonna risk my health. Exactly how I'm feeling. But now he has a chance to win a Super Bowl ring because. Last time he got there, he uh, blew a twenty-eight to three lead, something like that. So, <laughs> hopefully, it comes. Hopefully, it doesn't happen though. All right, what's the next game we're talking about? Next game, Forty well, Niners Lions. These, yeah, let's get the Forty Niners Lions. Quick, let's get these quick. Jaguars Texans. I guess that one's a little hard. I mean, I'm going Forty Niners. Forty Niners to cover, and what's the over under? Forty five. Forty five. You're thinking they're going to cover the seven and a half? Yeah, bro. I think yes, this absolutely, is absolutely terrible. I'm going 49ers. They're covering. I'm going to go under. I don't know if the Lions yeah. score. I'm, I'm smashing <laughs> all those. Under 49ers. 49ers defense is and good. Covering. And then we got Kittle back. 49ers defense could be top three. They got Josh Norman now. Are they scary? No, what? they got Nick Bosa back now. They got, no, they got, they got Josh Norman. Bosa back They got Josh now. Norman. I, don't know. Um, I have to agree with you guys here. Yeah, you got to go 49ers. 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 Let's Greg just move on, back. move on from this game. That's easy. That's all I have to say for that. Yeah, game. That's a quick one. yeah, 
I mean, all right, let's move to the next one. We got Vikings, Bengals. How are we feeling? This line is so low. Minus three for the Vikings? Are you shitting me? That's yeah, bro. Easy... Yeah. I think this is another easy one. I'm gonna that say might be Dalvin. a mortal lock of the day yeah. of the week. Dalvin, have a yeah. day. Vikings, yes. easy. Vikings. Oh, yeah. Another one of those teams where their best, better running back usually takes control of the game. And don't sleep on Jay Jettas. That guy's a menace to society. Yes. And I don't know where um, Joe Burrow is with that ACL. I, really don't. I feel like it's going to be a slow start. I feel bad, too, because I love Burrow. I mean, Burrow's that guy, but it's like, going to be a slow start. Those braces look like they might have never break. Like They look like they're secured on there for dear life. He's not going to look like um, Force Gump. Gump. <laughs> nope. Those things are made Breaking them off. There's a... His are made with titanium. Did you see break. the knee scars, though? I brought it up last year. Yes. Week. Oh, my God. This is why they needed to draft an offensive lineman. I do not like the Jamar Chase pick. And Jamar Chase all. has been bad preseason. He's been bad. He's been dropping passes oh, all preseason. He's been looking terrible. He's <laughs> looking like the bust of the draft. Yes, I agree with you, Tyler, right there. Bust the draft, and they're taking the L. Let's move on. That was an easy one. Yeah, Vikings all the way. Yeah. Um, let's this next one, Jags, Texans. Yeah. I'm going Jaguars here. I yep. think the Jags start off 1-0, and and they might be at the top of their division by the end of week one. We, well, we don't know. I saw a funny stat that the last couple first overall pick quarterbacks have actually tied in their first, like, W, you know, like, instead of a loss, they tied. So, I mean, hey, Jags and Texans, if this game is the one tie of the week, I will if there's one tie this week, I'm gonna put it this game. But I'm gonna say Jaguars just cause Jags minus three under. Um, are we ever gonna bet the Texans until Deshaun Watson comes back? No or shot. Or all against the Texans. Texans are the Jets of last Jets year. Of last yes, year. yes, yes, all yes. All right, let's hop on board. Texans are terrible. <laughs> we're sending it. We're, like yep, we're we're sending it. All I'm right. taking the Jaguars, but I don't like it. No. I think Urban Meyer is going to do everything in his power to fuck up this organization. I really do. I hope they go back to that 2008 Florida playbook with Tim Tebow just doing jump passes. I think they should just let Trevor Lawrence do jump passes the whole game. I think you call up Clemson and you go, give me the playbook. I don't <laughs> I mean, I mean, no. Yeah, where was he, at? he was at Ohio State, right? Ohio State forever. They were Ohio, in Florida, in Florida, then yeah, Ohio State. Who's the quarterback that he's had, though? Like Tim Tebow, Cardale Jones, you exactly. have Braxton where, Miller, where, JT Barrett. Where? Uh-huh, this is tough. <laughs> this is this is like how when I said Alabama quarterbacks earlier, the last Alabama quarterback I remember is AJ McCarron. Like, where is he? I think he's still a backup for the Bengals. He's backup somewhere. But someone's scout team. champion. Colt McCoy is in the back in the league still too. Hey, no Colt McCoy playing. <laughs> Come on now. I was just done at Texas. All right, I'm, I'm banging the Jaguars, though, and I think they cover both teams bad. I don't even know why we're talking about this game anymore. All right, let's move on. Seahawks, Colts. I think that's our last early game. Yeah, Seahawks, Colts. Um, I, so. I don't like Carson Wentz, and I'm definitely not going to bang Carson Wentz early when – Russell Wilson is like the best first half quarterback of all time. First half oh, yeah. of quarterback of all time. So I'm going Seahawks. I'm putting my trust in Russ to start the season like he does usually throw for seven touchdowns himself. And yeah, I'm going Seahawks. Seahawks to cover him. What's the um total? Fifty under. Mm, yeah. Uh under dude, this Seahawks team. Yeah, I'll their go under. offensive coordinator, or maybe it was head coach or something. I don't think it was head coach, but they Pete? they want to run the ball. Yeah, they want to run the ball now. They don't want to pass. Russ is complaining about his O line, so they kind of changed their center of their offense to be a running team. With and that scares me. Chris Carson is decent. I mean, he's decent, and he's gonna he's gonna play every down. You know, he's a three down back there, yep. and if they're gonna run run the ball, uh, I think it's. I don't know. I think you just stick what you've been doing because you have DK Metcalf, you have Tyler Lockett, you got great weapons that you need to use. So if they're going to center around Chris Carson instead of the best player on your team, aka Russell Wilson, um, I don't know how I like that. But 
they're playing the Colts. Carson Wentz is coming back from surgery, dog shit, and COVID. He's been right? dog shit for the last two years, though. Like absolutely terrible. But let's give him a little bit. He's going back to the um, coach that he had his best season in the pros. Yes. And so that's one thing that you have to look at. But week one, after he missed a lot of preseason because of the foot injury, and I know that team's full of COVID they and have like injuries. Four running backs too, and they're trusting Jonathan Taylor, who not a big fan of. Not a big fan. Yeah, of see, Jonathan and Taylor. I don't, I don't think that entire Colts running backs are going to do as well as they did last year. They had Philip Rivers last year, and who was a dump off king? Like that's yeah. that's he's check down master. So I'm just I don't feel this Colts team. I mean they have a good defense, very solid defense, but and I'll bang the under Seahawks and Seahawks again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to stick with you on that. This I can definitely see the Seahawks winning by a field goal and the bet cashes. So that's what's gonna happen. Seahawks. Yeah, under Seahawks, but they need to let Russ cook. If they want to go far, if they want to go deep into the playoffs, they need to let Russ cook. They can't rely on the run game so heavy. They just can't. I don't think Chris Carson's that guy. He's not like a bona fide. The Seahawks like, can't do that. Their, their no. defense isn't good enough for them to be a run team. To be a good no. run team and to run the ball well, you, need time management you have to, yeah, time management. And you have to have a good defense because when you run the ball, you are literally just wasting time. And it's so slow. And so that means your defense has to be good to keep the game low scoring and for you to have a good run game, like you have to also score. Like, so I wouldn't, I hate that, but I'm going to still bet on the Seahawks because Russ Wilson, best player on the field. Touch the ball play. He controls what they get to do, whether you like it or not. All right, let's get yeah, into Yeah, let's get into and- 125 time games. I'm looking at this New England Patriots, Mac Jones versus Tua. Tua Valoa in the Miami Dolphins. The Patriots are favored because of the home team, but I'm feeling the Dolphins for some reason. You're feeling Dolphins? Yes. No. No. I, I'm not going Dolphins. Perfect. I love it. Um, Sticking with the Dolphins then. Mac Jones. Yeah. Who is the ideal male body? Who? Uh, you see that picture after winning the national championship? You may not like it, but that's peak performance, baby. Who? Mac Jones, Mac Attack. Big Mac, baby. I'm that's going nice. Patriots. You have to. Yeah, Mac's going to be the total opposite of what Cam is, you know, backwards. Cam, Mac. He's going to do the total opposite. This what? Patriots team is back. Bill Belichick. That was, that was Galaxy Brain, Bob. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Yeah, Cam and Mac. Galaxy Brain. Season. That's Galaxy Brain. If, if, if Bill Belichick's in the gym, you better hope your ass is in the gym if you're on that team. Because if Coach is working out, you better be working out two times as and hard. I think that's where the issue is. Nope. While Coach was in the gym, Mac was in the classroom teaching Cam how to work. Yeah. Yeah. If try. Mac was teaching Cam the playbook, this is going to be fine. No, it's not. Yes, because that means Mac, Mac is knows the playbook. Not He's not better than Cam, though, talent-wise. Uh yeah, it seems like it. I think I think at this point in their careers, he is. Cam Newton's career might Pete be. Pete Cam. Hard, but... Pete Cam was fire. Cam in his in his prime was a dominant force. But yeah. at this point in their careers, Cam threw for like two thousand yards last year. Bro, are you shitting his me? Best receiver was Jacoby Myers, who you never even heard of. Okay, was I'm not trying to. This obviously they don't com- they don't compare, so I don't even like. I don't know, but Tom, in. but Tom, okay, Johnny's but what about Tom Brady? Hunter Henry garbage. They're only gonna play five games per literally per. They're gonna be combined ten games for both of them. <laughs> but Tom Brady had the same exact weapon, and I know those two guys aren't comparable, but at the same time, it's like okay, you guys both were dealt the same hand. Okay, I I, I agree with that. I yeah. agree with that, Mac. Max style is more fit towards Tom Brady than Cam yes, would yes. be. So it's easier yeah, to Cam just mesh. wasn't a good fit. Yeah, it's easier to mesh Mac into a Tom Brady mini me. The Bill Belichick style team offense, all of it. I think it's a better but fit. But I think obviously. Cam's better than him. 
you, I mean, no. you could say that all you want, but we watched Cam Newton last so. year. Cam, when Cam says he's better than, he's not the thirty second worst quarterback in the league. Like I, I, I agree with that. I think there's a job out there for him. Yep, and it's in Miami. That's fine. If he can Jeez. get a little bit of leeway to control an offense, I still think he has something left in him. But I don't know. Maybe he is really just see. Done. The thing is, is that and he, they were fucked. They fucked around with him with the COVID shit. No, he fucked around with the COVID shit. He's yeah, he fucked around with it, but they like used that like against him, like to. Well, it him. wasn't the team; it's the NFL. The NFL said, "Hey, you, if you're not going to be vaccinated in the NFL right now, you have to test every day." Yes. And you cannot go to an outside testing. You have to get tested by the NFL. So if you're going to leave and go do whatever, you still have to get tested by the NFL. Yeah, but I heard he went to an authorized off-site tester. Yeah, but Bill doesn't care. At the end of the day, it's, it's Bill's show. Bill wants his show ran by the book. If it's not done the way he wants it, you're out of class, dude. But you yeah. don't think that went into consideration, like when they're making cuts? And stuff? Bill said no. But, I mean, obviously, yes. Uh, you I can't mean, have your starting quarterback yeah. not just get COVID randomly, you know, before start or whatever. If I mean, most of these guys in the NFL are vaccinated now. Like, it's just a regular thing. Yeah, it's weird. Some players don't want to. But it's a thing now. And definitely your starting quarterback, you're going to want to be vaccinated. You're going to want him to be able to make every start, not on a drop of a dime, be out. And as of right now, Maybe Cam is better than Mac right right this second, but it's not even week one. I mean, playing wise, like he hasn't got that yeah that feeling yet. We'll see on Sunday. Yeah, we'll we're gonna to see. make adjustments Sunday. We'll get to recalibrate how uh, who looks good, who doesn't look good. Um, but I'm gonna stick with the Dolphins here, and then the over under is forty three and a half. Under over. I like that under. Over. I don't think either of these teams score that 24, much. 24, 21, boom, over. I think Dolphins it's going to be a, a really good 17 defense. game. 14, 17? 14, 17, 17, and it's going to be boring. Yeah, low score in a fair. Very. All right. Fuck the Patriots. Yep. Next game, let's go Browns Chiefs. Browns Chiefs. I honestly think... We're all going to agree on this. I wanted it to go Browns so bad, but I think I'm going Chiefs to win, but I'm going to go Browns cover. And I'm only going to do that because the last time they played was a very good game. I know it was playoffs, and I know um, Pat Mahomes left and then came back or whatever, but I just think this Browns team is good. Baker finally gets to keep his coaches, um, his offensive coordinator, his head coach f- for an off season. And I think that matters. I think that's going to help. Um, their offense is stacked. They have the best offense in their division. So I'm going to go Brown or I'm going to go chiefs, but Brown's cover. Who has the best offense in their Browns. division? Browns. The chiefs? Browns. I agree with that. The chiefs have Browns. the best offense in the whole league. But, Browns. Uh, I'm, this is a no brainer to me. Chiefs, Minus six and the overs hitting. We're we're yes. getting what's the over? We're getting gambly right here. Fifty four and a half. Four and a half. Oof. I'll go over. I'm I'll taking put, the over. I, I was hoping for one of those thirty one twenty eight games, maybe. Chiefs, know. Browns cover though. I'm taking Chiefs. Um I don't think the Browns will cover, but I am smashing the over. I mean Chiefs are Chiefs are too good. Yeah, Fucking that, ridiculous that guy. at this point. Yeah, that guy. And and they have a fire lit under them, I think, from losing in the Super Bowl. So I think I think they're on a revenge tour. Love that word. It's a great term. Um I think the Chiefs are literally dialed. They're always dialed for some reason. Like their coach do their coaches do a great job of preparing them from week one. They're always dialed, bringing the heat and some teams need like that little slap in the mouth or a team to just literally embarrass you to like get something going, you know? So this might be that, that week for the Browns. I think the Browns slow start. Baker's not ready to play against Patrick Mahomes, you know? Chiefs have so much. Andy Reid is talent. such a stud. Yeah. Andy Reid is such a fucking stud, dude. <laughs> he might be a little underrated too. Like, you, I think the Browns are underrated. 
No, they're not. They're not at all. I really do. They have a lot of their guys coming back. Their top corner was out, it seemed like, all year last year. Then you're adding Jadavion Clowney. Didn't they just trade one of the corners, though? It wasn't like a big name. Do they still have Denzel Ward? Yes, and he was out most of the year last year, but he's back fully healthy. I think he got hurt week one. Very good. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, that's I couldn't think of the name, but yeah, and I I think Jadavion's going to do better than he has in a couple years also. I mean, I know he's never lived up to the hype, but I think having Miles on the other side creates havoc for the offensive line. You have Miles, who is unstoppable, and then you have Jadavion, who is huge and a force every time he's on the field. So Tatis just threw Jared Walsh out at home plate. Love that. All right, let's go Packers Saints. I mean, I think we might all agree, but I'm not too sure on this one. I'm going I'm a go Packers. I think A Rod got a got a goal. Got um he got married. He's on that married life now. I th- I think he has a goal and he's gonna hit it and he is definitely on a revenge tour against his own freaking team, his owners, his GM. And I think he's out to show the entire league, yeah, I was MVP last year, but I'm getting older, but at the same time I'm still worthy and I deserve my shot. And I think any team should go get him. Like, I still think he's a top quarterback in this league and I think he's going to show it. Yeah. I mean, the, the Saints, I love Jameis. For some reason, I am a huge Jameis Winston fan. Oh, yeah. But I mean, the Packers, there's a little bit something deeper with Aaron Rodgers there. And I, I'm going to take the Packers, um, the minus four and a half. But, uh, as you were saying, Aaron Rodgers is, and I don't know, I really don't know how good Devontae Adams is, or if Aaron Rodgers is literally that so good at pinpoint, like his accuracy is is one of the best in the whole league, that it makes it it's easier. Definitely a mix of both. That's what I think. I like, like I know Devontae's good, and I know Aaron Rodgers is good, but I would love to see them on different teams and get a different point of view from how they can play because I think they can be better. Yeah, I, do. I don't know I how, do but Tyler, you going to go uh, Packers. Saints here? No. Big Packers. Guy? Packers. I, I fucking love Jameis, but I mean. He doesn't have the weapons right now. Can't, have the weapons. You, can't, you can't always bet with your heart. Uh, doesn't have all the weapons. Um, that team's going to struggle without Michael Thomas. Uh, and they don't. I got. I got to go Packers for like the first month. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They won't. Yeah, they won't even be playing at home. Aaron. Yeah. Aaron gets Randall Cobb back, so would love to see how that relationship re-sparks. Oh, it's never unsparked. Those are boys. He's Cody pissed. Nelson comes <laughs> back week six. <laughs> that would be sick, honestly. Get the band about, back together. Yeah, they play on Monday, I was about to say. Getting the band back together. But, yeah, Packers, I got that. You said it's four and a half. It changed since I looked at it last. But Packers, yeah, four, and, four and, a and a half. What's the over-under? 50. 50. 50. Bang it. Bang it. Bang it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sleep when you're dead. Bang 30, that. 31-20. Boom. All right. Well, um, Broncos, Giants. Another game that I will Holy not shit. be paying attention to. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't you. even know if this game will pop up my red zone, to be honest. Probably won't, unless I get a pick six. That's about it. 41.5 is so low. Yeah, I'm going Giants. Um, Don't know why. It was just a coin flip. I don't think that Broncos team is that good. I don't think Teddy B's that good. I don't know if he'll make it out of one whole game doing or throwing every play but i'm going giants and i think it'll be either so the daniel show, probably daniel be jones coming out show field goal yes absolutely i think so too i'm i'm going giants the i don't daniel like the broncos jones broncos are terrible coming out show starts this week yeah i'll take I, giants and the giants daniel plus three, three. I th- i'll take that too yep you think we get a daniel jones fumble Nope. Hope not. I hope Saquon doesn't fumble either. Hope he plays though. I think we 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 have to get like a hysterical Daniel Jones call. We have to. 
I think that's just Patton in his game. You know, maybe yeah, a, we, maybe a sack when he trips over his cleats or something, you know, yeah. and falls backward. Maybe I a ghost that. fumble. Ooh. Maybe that might happen. He's literally, he, he's literally Eli Manning 2.0. It fits him perfectly, that I was Giants not uniform. Him either, but. Me either. I didn't see that pick coming out of anywhere. That's wild. Like he went to Duke. All right, Sunday night game. Sunday night, we got Bears at Rams. That's a good game. It's a good game, and I think the spread is a little high for the Rams, but I mean. This was a good game if Justin Fields was the starting quarterback, but since it's I not, wish he was the starter. So I'm so, and if he was the starter, I would just sack up and the Monday night the Bears. Money. Terrible. I think that's a good game Monday night. Sunday night. I would night. much rather see Cardinals Titans. I would much rather see Steelers Bills Sunday night. You put Cardinals Titans Monday night. ESPN doesn't know how many viewers they're missing out on. Browns Chiefs Sunday night. I think that's beautiful. I, I just I don't like this Bears this is Rams a rematch though of the playoffs last year. No Bears lost yeah. the Saints on Nickelodeon. I'll never forget that. Oh yeah. So. On Mitch Nickelodeon. Trubisky, MVP. 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 Mitch Trubisky. Trubisky. And took the L. I like titties. Yeah, that, that's hilarious. Um, I'm going to go Rams. I'll bang the Rams. And I'm, I'm going to bang the Rams minus seven and a half. Is that what it still is right now? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to bang that. And then what's the over? 46.5. 46. 46. 46 and a half. Ooh. 46. Eight, 20, 24 to 24 wins. These are good. Good defenses, though. Both of them. Both very good defenses. I'm gonna I'm gonna go the under on that. Twenty eight seventeen. Yeah, I'm gonna go under, and I think Andy Dalton throws two interceptions. I like that. Andy Dalton is trash. Garbage. Who do you think is RB one for the Rams right now? Who do you think shows up on the field to play one? Darnell Henderson or Sony Michelle? I'm hoping. Darnell Henderson. Home. And I think it's Darnell should- Henderson just because Rams- he's longest tenured. Should the Rams sign Latavius Murray? I was wondering why they didn't. He would be starter. And I was wondering why the Ravens didn't. Yeah, I saw he. I saw a report that said he wants to go to Baltimore. He's like, um, the Ravens are in a situation that fits my situation perfect. Blah blah blah. And like, basically <laughs> said, I want to go to Baltimore without saying I want to go to Baltimore. But I would, dude. You get him on that Rams team. Oh my gosh, bro. He's good. Lawyer. He can run the ball. He can pound it in he one yard. He had his best season of his career last year, statistically. He can pound it in from the one-yard line, and sometimes that's what you need, you know? You know how many teams get stopped on the one? They go for it, get stopped. Or I think it was his averages, his best averages. I can't remember. I'm sure it was. He, he had some big fantasy points, and, like, for a backup, if you have a big fantasy point day, like, that's crazy. <laughs> well, yeah, Rams – and I got the minus seven and a half. What are you feeling? I like that Rams and then the under. And then the under, yes. All right. Monday, we were talking about the Ravens. I hate the half points. Yeah, I hate half points too. But we got Ravens at Raiders in Las Vegas. Baltimore is favored minus four and a half. Wow. I mean, I think this Raiders team is a lot better than people are saying. I think they have and a well in, it'll be in Vegas. Well put yeah. Well put roster. Um they got a lot of veteran guys over there. But I mean, I don't know. This is this is hard because of the Ravens and their running back situation, how they don't have really anyone who's played and to understand the playbook that long. Yep. Well, you have a running back playing quarterback, so that definitely helps the Ravens situation. Um, on the Raiders side, I hope they just feed Darren Waller. That is all I'm asking for is feed Darren Waller. He is basically an RV, R, a wide receiver one and a tight end one mixed into one dude. So Yeah, just stud. Give him the ball as much as possible. Stud. I don't know who I want here, though. I, I don't really like the Raiders' defense. No, the Ravens have a way really better defense, and I don't really like Lamar and their that type of game. It just works though, like he's like he's just like a perfect. Like Rashad Bateman, no Rashad Bateman, so they're basically kind of like 
the last year's offense with Hollywood Brown as the number one in. I'm gonna go Ravens. I just Sammy I just Watkins. right there. Yeah, added Sammy Watkins this offseason. I'm gonna go Ravens. I think they have a better defense start this year. Um, I don't like. I don't really like this Raiders offense as much as people do. I don't think Derek Carr is a gamer. I think he just comes in and does his job, and I think that's just him. And so I'm gonna go Ravens um, in Vegas to start the year. I think Lamar could just run all over that team. But we'll see. I mean, you never know week one, but I'm going to go Ravens. I, I'm going to say the Raiders. Ooh. Um, I don't know. It's four and a half. Four and a half. I'm going to say Baltimore covers. What's the over under? 50 and a half. 50 and a half. Under. I'm going to go. I like Ravens by seven. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Even four. Oh, four I don't know about work. the over under on that one. Um, <laughs> 15 and a half is a little high. I think I might do under. I think I'm going under. I'll go under. I'll go under to start. I'm going to round it out with Baltimore Ravens minus 4.5 and the under. So we're all on the I same page. I hate it, though. I hate it. All on the same page to start off a Monday night game. Yeah, and for some reason, with Hard Knocks having the Dallas Cowboys on it, why does it make me feel like the Cowboys are going to come out here Thursday night, beat the Buccaneers, so then all these Cowboy fans think, oh, we got the best team in the world, we beat the Buccaneers week one, and then they just heartbreak the rest of the year. That's how I'm going over on that game. I'm going back. I'm changing. I'm going to my original prediction. Fuck you, Shenny. All right. I like that. I like that. I'm going over. He nope. talked to me out of it, and I'm, I'm, I talked myself back into it. I had, I'm hammering the over. It's the first game of the season. You have to. You got to hammer the over. Yeah, I mean, life's too short. Got to hammer over. Hate it. Dak stinks. I'll All right, let's get, on into, let's get into some fantasy. Dak stinks. Let's get into our fantasy predictions. We're going to highlight a couple of <clears throat> fantasy oh, players, quarterback, running back, wide receiver, that we think are going to shine this week. And if you have them, they're a definite start. That's a lock. Mortal this week. locks. Mortal locks for fantasy. So, with quarterback, how are we feeling? Shouldn't he go first? I'll start this off. And I said it earlier on this pod. This is week one of the Kyler Murray MVP train. Kyler Murray for the quarterback of the week. Let's fucking go. Not mad, not mad. Going against. I like it. Titans, like it. Let's, let's hear you, Ty. I like Brady Thursday night. I like Brady a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm liking that. I'm I like Brady. That. If you have Brady, lock him in. Have to. Lock Brady in versus the Cowboys. Week one, first game. Nice. I'm going to go in a, a solid name in a new place. Matthew Stafford. I think he's going to win that game for the Rams, going to put on a show in that new uni. He's he's just going he's going to love life in LA, you know. Wasn't isn't he from LA? No. Yeah, he grew up in Yeah, the, I think they're so. from Texas. They're from, uh, they're from Texas. But they're neighbors uh, now or something like that. Oh, I thought they're from They're boys oh. though. They are boys. Yeah. But he's going to love yeah, it in LA now. Ball. And I think that also is a new fresh feeling with a solid team, the Rams. They were a Super Bowl team not too long ago. They got great pieces over there, and they got a smart coach. I think Stafford, Locke, stardom this week. Let's go running backs. You can start. We can just go reverse order. Reverse order, reverse order. <laughs> I like it's the I same every, every fucking pick. It's bullshit. <laughs> I wasn't ready. But I'm going to go Dalvin Cook versus... Cincy Bengals, not that great of a team. Dalvin Cook's going to eat this week and going to lead that team to a big old W. Got to go Kamara. Alvin. I have to go Kamara. Kamara's going to get a lot of the workload in in the running game and passing game. Uh, Jameis is going to chuck it. You know, don't you you worry. Jameis is going to huck that ball. But – 
Kamara Kamara's going to get a lot of dump offs. I think uh, Jameis has that 2020 vision. He's not going to be overthrowing to those linebackers. Uh, I like Kamara. Nice. I like that pick. I like that pick. There's not that many weapons that the Saints have to start this season off, and that's an easy choice for um, for good old Jameis Winston to just dump off. So I like that. You know, this running back has never even played a snap in an NFL oh, game. Oh, Jesus. I saw his college performance in basically every national championship game the last three years. He's ready for the NFL. He's been ready. Say it already. And I can't wait for him to put on a show week one in Buffalo. Najee Harris. Time to eat. <laughs> you know, I don't think I could find a more cringe, more cringy video than that sentence you just did right there. But, yeah, I mean, that's a great pick. I just – I don't know versus Bill's team, but I think that's a good pick. And no one's going to tackle him. It's a perfect perfect matchup. 100 yards, two TDs. Oof. Right here. 100 yards, Najee. two TDs. Jerome Bettis in Najee Harris form. Eesh. Here we come. Here we go. All right. Well, this time let's start off with Tyler for the wide receivers. I'm struggling. So no, no. Let's hear who you're, who you're choosing between. Let's hear your I have I have two. I have two. I like – I like Cooper Cup and I like Tyler Lockett. Okay, oh, those are two guys. Yeah, those are two low key picks. Let's hear it. Right. Let's I like walk those. Walk yourself through your who you picked though. Bang you only Cooper get one. Thank you. So Cooper you got Cup. you got to walk yourself through the pick right here. Live. Matthew, Matthew Stafford coming out party, L.A. Um, they have weapons, so you know. I mean, between Cooper, uh, Cooper and uh, Robert Woods, I think Robert Woods. He's he's a big target guy. He gets a lot of targets, a lot of close to the line of scrimmage. But Cooper, huge touchdown guy. I like him. I think he's going to show out big. And uh, like you said before, Russ is a first half guy. He's just going to chuck the ball. I think, especially in Indy, I think they're going to let Russ cook. Um, I like I like Lockett to outscore DK this week. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Lock it to outscore DK to he start only off does the season. That four weeks out of the whole year. You know that, right? Yep. And this and is he one of them. them. By 30. Yeah, he goes. Lock, like lock it in. Hot lock it. Lock him in. Hot pocket? I don't know, guys. <laughs> I like it, Ty. I like it. Mix it up. Shinny? Want to go? Amigo? You go or me go? Tell me, amigo. All right, I'll go. Fine. Uh, I'll go. Don't take my receiver. I'm right going. Now. Do not take this receiver. Keenan Allen. Oh, I wasn't going to take your receiver. I'm no, wasn't. I like it. I like Keenan. Start the year. You know, Herbie's go to oh. guy. And the Chargers got to get this W versus Washington versus a good team. And hey, Keenan Allen is going to beat up that secondary over there for the Washington Red Hogs, Washington football team, whatever you want to call him, Shinny. But I got Keenan. Wide receiver one, lock it in, start him. Well, this guy, yeah. he was should have been rookie of the year last year. Didn't didn't even play preseason. I knew that's who you were going. Didn't even play the preseason. Shenny's writing a book right now. And I just saw it from my way. Out, ready to roll. Jay Jettas, Justin Jefferson is my wide receiver of the week. Lock him in against this shitty Bengals defense. Kirk Cousins is gonna. He might have might throw five hundred yards. We don't know. Um, lock Jay Jettas in easy. I like that. I like that. Well, Ty, how you feeling? Ty, the media guy, Tyler Moon, Epi One. How you Ooh. feel? Humble. I'm blessed. Thank you guys for putting me in this position. Yeah, welcome to Average Stakes, baby. So happy to be here. Shinny, I love it. Feel about it. Feels like home. Um, this is uh pretty sweet, you know. We're me and Bob on the same screen for the first time, and uh, in ever. what we could call the stage one of the studio, you know. I mean, you see, so we're working on stuff, you know. We're getting there. Um, we're trying to do our best to get this all set up so we can get dialed in, get more guests on. You know, if you haven't seen the video, we should video with Jared Carabas, um, of Barstool Sports. And that just lined me up with our next guest, too, Shinny. So, hey, more guests, more guests, more guests. And I'm saying that, too, because 
each week of this pickums, we're going to have more and more people on. And so Tyler was week one. We have more guys coming on. You could win yourself a jersey of your choice. So Any player you want. Hey, this matters. Tyler, I hope you're sticking with your picks because you can't take them back now. Yep, so, yep, hey, yep, yep, locked in. Locked and loaded. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being average. Nothing wrong with being average. That will wrap up episode one from the Average Takes Compound. Yeah. First epi. Hey, welcome to the studio, guys. First epi. NFL Pickums is back. Week one of the NFL season. Bang it. Football is back, baby. No more scary Sundays. Football's back. All nope. right. Sunday scaries. Hey guys. Out of here. Adios. Nothing Thanks, wrong with being average.